Good morning to you. All right, we're gonna start the grinding process this morning. Squeeze the juice out of the stalks. Then we'll take them to the kettle and uh, cook it off, make a syrup. Now what we have here is a uh, Chattanooga Plow Company made this grinder in the late uh, 1880s, 1890s. Uh, been in my family a while. Now my tractor is a uh, International McCormick Farm All Cub 1948 model. It's going to be my mule today because this grinder was was uh, intended to uh, be powered by a mule or a horse. Now back when my uncle run it, he had an old cracker horse named Nail, and uh, they'd hook her up to it and make her go round and around grinding her cane. But this is my mule for today. All right. Uh, be a drawn out process so bear with me What I was doing there, I was setting the circle. So when I put my grandson on the tractor, tractor, he'll know right where to drive, keeping it just the right spot for us. Now, we've started the process. Right at the end, you see the blue barrel in the bucket. If you'll look, you'll see the uh, cane juice running into the bucket.
you know, all right, you got the general idea of the process, so we're going to cut it off for a little while. All right, this is the next generation. Teach them how to run the grinder. All right, Brody, go ahead and put your one on top. That one, they got, it's got a hold of that big one. Yeah, that's a little faster than a mule, I do believe. All right, now my granddaughter's wanting to get in on it. You gonna cut all that down over there? Not today. She might as well learn too, right? Down here. Yeah, he's down there. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Brody. I don't know where he's at now. Oh, no, 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 that was Brody. We got, uh, oh, there he is. Yep. We got the fire built. Now it's just a matter of time. She'll be, uh, boiling up and we can skim her off. Dirt off of there for me. Inside and out. Okay, let me hold that while you wipe it. Then you can get off the side there. Mm -hmm. Good? Yep. I just set it, it sits right up on top down here. It goes down in there. Bowling over, getting all over the the, uh, the kettle itself, okay. the brick. All right. Up. Yes, sir. Just take that over there. Now I'm going to bring a pot of water over here to you. Okay. And you can stick it in the water and rinse it off. Okay. We'll just start skimming that off. What you're doing, you're getting all the little floaties that comes up, so that it's not in our syrup. That's it.
like all around the thermometer. I'll move, I'll move it. Oh. I thought you fell. All right, bring that out. Okay. All right, just take it, turn it upside down. Uh-huh. And straight from the back, please. Okay. That won't turn that bucket, I think. Yeah. But uh, I'll move this all out of the way and you okay. can skim it. You go. You go up under it and just pick up on it. Oh, perfect. Do you want me to rinse it off every single time? No, go a couple times and okay. then rinse. Okay, okay. Gotcha. A little bit flatter down, get under. Do you try to get every single bit of, bit of it? We will eventually. It's going to get, in a few minutes as it heats up, it's going to get, before it starts to boil, mm -hmm. that's going to get about that, that two, three inches It'll be thick. Easier. Oh, yeah, it'll be a lot easier. But everything you can get out just makes the syrup cleaner. All right, let's just let her okay. cook for a little while longer. Okay. Just leave it up on the chimney to be all right. Okay. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> all right, Savannah, dump that right out there in the middle. <laughs> 